Here's a question for you guys. Why is the attack helicopter meme still funny years after it initially formulated on the internet? Why is it still funny? And why is it that progressives are still reeing over it? Why are they still outraged over this joke? Why do they see them froth at the mouth while pretending to not really be bothered by it and just say, oh, dead meme, come up with some new jokes. Why can't you just say something better than that? Why do you continually use this? It's horrible, it's bigoted, it's transphobic. Firstly, the origins of the attack helicopter meme aren't necessarily about making fun of trans people. I do you believe it came from the other kin phenomenon way back in like 2014 I believe. There was a thing on Tumblr at the time, I assume it probably is still a thing to this day, where people believed, not necessarily seriously, but some of them obviously did, some of them, they had a spiritual other I guess it would be. They weren't necessarily human on the inside, they were actually a dragon, therefore they were dragon kin. They were a wolf, therefore they are wolf kin, or literally they are a wolf trapped inside a person's body. Now, Mr. Metica, when he was internet aristocrat, did a video about this in his Tumblrism series, and quite rightly he said, in quite a few of those videos, but particularly this one, that it kind of makes light of disability, specifically mental disability, particularly if you've got personality disorders or something like schizophrenia. That thing can really make people like that who are susceptible to believing delusions, that their delusions are real, that they are not who they are, but they're something else. And it will make them think that they're actually nothing is wrong with them, they're totally fine, but actually they're ill and they need help. It's a flagrant disregard for the safety of others, which is ironic because these types of people constantly go on about safe spaces and being aware of safety and having to make sure that people are accommodated and things like that, when actually they engage in the most reckless behaviour and endangering people who aren't necessarily on the most sane side of things or even physically the most safe side of things either. And I think that's where originally it came from. But also the pronoun thing, again, that was also something to do with Tumblrisms and Tumblr. In fact, I think the two probably intersected in a way. You could be an other kin and also believe that you're not actually a man or a woman, you're a non-binary person, them, they, dragon kin. I think there was actually some intersection there, there was some overlap. And so there was influence from there too, I do agree with that. But again, it's making fun not of trans people because trans people are real. They have actual mental illness that affects them. Regardless of how you think how that should be fixed, we all agree gender dysphoria is real and there's no bones about that. There is no debate. It is real. It is like body dysmorphia. Again, a similar thing. But there's a difference here. Trans people believe that they are simply men trapped in the woman's body or a woman trapped inside a man's body. But things like non-binary and gender fluid and things like that, there is no scientific basis behind that. None whatsoever. And whenever we try and ask these progressives to actually show whether or not any of this is actually real, that there is actual scientific evidence that somebody can be non-binary in the literal sense of the word, as in their sex is non-binary, they can never come up with anything. And as a lot of us have said over the years, those of us on the opposite side, we agree that in terms of your expression, you don't have to follow the male way or the female way. Do whatever you want. You're an individual. You live in what is ostensibly a free society. Do what you want. I think most people don't really care. They might just think it's a bit of a weird eccentric thing that you might be a woman who chooses to dress in a way that's so completely confused you don't know what that is but that's your choice and nobody's going to stop you from doing it this isn't North Korea this isn't Iran this isn't Saudi Arabia but when you try to make out that being androgynous or not conforming to the way society expects you to conform as a man or a woman as an actual gender or lack thereof we're gonna have a problem with that aren't we it doesn't have a basis in reality whatsoever and that's where the attack helicopter thing comes in because if those things technically exist which they don't if those things exist, then why can't I be an attack helicopter? It's making fun of the absurdity of this clearly pseudo-scientific belief that a lot of people have. It's something that is so obviously an attention-seeking to try and mark out somebody as different, but also, I think, used in a way by people who are a bit parasitic to infest a particular community of vulnerable people who have real issues that affect them and to try and co-opt it for their own gain. That's what I think it is. I don't think this non-binary thing is real. I think that the people who use it are either attention seekers or are activists seeking to infiltrate the trans community. If it even is a community, I don't really consider it a community because they're too atomized and I can't see anything that really connects one trans person to another other than being, you know, transgender, but that's really nothing. That's like saying there's a female community and a male community when such a thing has never really existed. I can't tell you what is a cultural trait of a trans person. I really can't. As far as I'm aware, they're just British or American or French as anybody else. But nonetheless, this is what it is. And this is where this joke comes from. It's poking fun at the pseudoscience. Basically, another version, in my opinion, of the Pastafarian religion, of the 
flying spaghetti monster, essentially. That's what it is. The attack helicopter is essentially a modern day flying spaghetti monster. And I think it hits close to home. I think it really does. And that's why they don't like it. And that's why they flip out over it. And I've been seeing it on Twitter right now. David Shera and other people have been attacking Emails Chong and other people that I know for making the joke. Not because they think it's a dead meme and we should stop using it, but because they are genuinely offended by it. And I think in particular David Sherat's case and this other person who's another reformed individual, shall we say, they're embarrassed by the fact they used to engage in this behaviour, in this joke, and they feel really bad. People forget there's a reason why he was called Spinosaurus kin guys and that's because he was poking fun at other kin people it just again makes light of actual mental illnesses like schizophrenia personality disorders and in a way i would argue transgenderism gender dysphoria because is that not a similar sensation but it's actually real they do genuinely feel this way but don't worry apparently that's okay it's okay when they do it in tumblr isn't it it's okay when these progressive types do it because that's really why it's still funny because people so react to it in a negative way and as long as people react to it in a negative way people are going to continue making the joke people are going to use the helicopter emoji on people they're going to say oh well you know I'm an attack helicopter and somebody saying that they're non-binary gender fluid queer whatever because it's absurd it also pokes fun at the language that they use because they constantly refer to themselves by what they are as opposed to who they are it's always what a person is as opposed to who the person is it's not about the character it's about as many pronouns they can fit into one sentence at once how many identities are going to be a part of which is not what we want to build our society on necessarily now is it aren't we all supposed to be following martin luther king's philosophy of judge a person by their character not by their race or gender or creed or anything like that right is that what we're supposed to be doing is that what we're meant to be channeling that's what the joke in a way fundamentally is trying to touch at that it's absurd to basically make your whole life about your identity, about what you are, as opposed to who you are. Like what Harvey Keitel said in Pulp Fiction a long time ago. Because you are a character, doesn't mean that you have character. And I think for the people making the helicopter jokes, they actually have character. While the people who make their lives about their pronouns, about their racial identity and their political identity, they don't have character. There's nothing in there. They have no personality, which is why they have no sense of humour or anything like that. This is why these people are some of the most puritanical, super serious, moral busybodies you will ever meet in your life because they have no character this is why these people can be unscrupulous they can be hypocritical and unprincipled because again there's nothing in there there's no character they're just sheep i mean don't get me wrong most people follow the group we're human beings we are by nature groupish these people take it to a whole new level where literally you can't go on a particular leftist twitter page without seeing their pronouns in there regardless of whether they're transgender or not like i don't need to know your pronouns it's not a badge of honor it's just in many ways i think has become a sign amongst many people regardless if they're transgender or not that this person might not be very smart this person might be a radical person might be a bit extreme so there we are guys maybe i've expanded on it a bit too much and i would just like to say something else about the other side on the more of the right side of things now pjw has gone viral hasn't he with the uh, tweet that he made about the twerking girls and saying just modernity now a lot of people were mocking him i mocked him myself only because for banterous reasons i didn't really care about his opinion it was just i thought it was funny what i said it wasn't about you know trying to make things worse for him or anything like that i just thought hey this is just a funny thing to say maybe it's funny to me but whatever a lot of people did take that very seriously and say that oh this is just trying to make horish behavior acceptable and no matter what they do this was still going to be unattractive and it's not right firstly pcw didn't necessarily say that, that it was unacceptable he just said modernity. That could mean many different things. Perhaps he was being ironic. Nobody really knows what he thought, but there definitely were people who were more conservative than even he is not happy with it. Personally, I just think it's such a innocuous thing that it's not worth even going viral over. I don't see what twerking does that is so offensive. And it looked more like they were exercising anyway than they were actually dancing. It seemed like they were in some kind of gym. These exotic dances are actually very good for your body. There's no use getting hung up on these types of jokes. There's no use getting hung up about what people do in a gym. Let people make their own individual decisions about that. I don't think twerking is symbolic of any kind of societal decay or anything like that. I really don't. It's not even a symptom of societal decay. It's just a dance. It's a fad that will go like every fad has gone. 
into the dustbin of history. I still don't think PJW was being serious. I think it's just a meme. Modernity, that is like a meme within a lot of right-wing circles. Modern life is rubbish thing, revolt against the modern world. It's a meme. That doesn't mean he has anything against it. It's just to him like, ugh. You see, look, typical modern people, innit? <laughs> Turking. I think that's what it's meant to be. But I could be wrong. Maybe he is offended. There's nothing he can do about it, and there's nothing we can do about it. People are going to take up whatever fad that happens, and people are going to make any joke they're going to make a joke about. So, anyway, we might as well just accept it. See you later, guys.